Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here at Junalup Resort. This video, I'm gonna be talking about how to start your backswing. Too often I'll look on the range and look on the golf course and I'll see players stuck over the golf ball, really struggling to take that golf club away. I've got some great tips for you here today. That's really gonna help if you struggle with this problem. Let's get into it. Now, if you just spend a little bit of time watching golf on TV and you watch some professionals play in tournament mode, you'll find that they make it look somewhat effortless. They don't look tense, they don't look tight, they don't look like they're struggling over the golf ball to take this golf club away. However, if you were to watch a lot of amateur golfers, it tends to look the opposite. Far too often, I'll see players set up to the golf ball and spend way too much time looking at that golf ball, thinking and processing about what they do. And effectively, what makes golf so challenging is that it is a dynamic athletic sport, but we're starting from a static position. And therefore, we've got a lot of time to think about what we think we need to do to get that ball from point A to point B. The professional, however, understands this. And then therefore, they add this athleticism and this movement in their setup and before they take the golf club away to ensure that they're able to create a more free-flowing motion rather than a stiff and rigid series of mechanics which makes it difficult to repeat on a consistent basis. So let's talk about how you, if you're struggling with taking that golf club away, can implement some of what a professional does to make your backswing or starting your backswing a little bit easier more often than not. Now, before we get stuck into it, please go down below, press subscribe, press that little bell button so you get notified of any upcoming videos just like this to help your game in the year ahead. Okay, so removing the inability to take that golf club away, let's talk about where that comes from. So if I set up to this golf ball here, if I'm focusing on the golf ball too intently and I'm so transfixed on hitting this golf ball, what happens is that players don't move enough before they actually hit the golf shot. What you'll see on TV is the professional would tend to have a bit of a waggle. They would have a bit of a shuffling between their feet where they're shifting their pressure from their left foot to their right foot and they're moving the golf club back and down up and towards themselves and this just releases a lot of tension in their body. This is the opposite to what you see with a lot of recreational golfers where they'll just simply stand, put the club behind and get tighter and tighter and tighter. So tension and the time that you take to take the golf club away is really what causes the majority of issues for those of you who struggle to take the golf club off the golf ball and start your backswing. So what we can do is we can just notice what the pros do and implement a little bit of that. If I'm setting up to the golf ball, I wanna feel that I'm juggling my weight between my right foot and my left foot. I wanna feel that I'm moving the club head back a little bit with both my wrists. I can also feel that I'm pumping the handle towards my body a little bit, and this simply just relaxes my shoulders, it relaxes my arms, and ensures that I've got a much better ability of creating more of a fluid motion rather than a series of force mechanics throughout the swing. So this is key to creating some consistency and repeatability to that motion. But even from then, sometimes I see players, they'll go through this little process, they'll put the club behind, and then they get back to square one because they feel like they've got to process something in their brain to get the golf club starting. So I'm gonna give you a bit of an idea of how to start the backswing, which may be a bit different to what you think. Now, when you're practicing, don't get me wrong, being able to set up to the golf ball and focus on mechanics and the occasional position when you're working on something with your coach is very important and building that block practice into your game to improve your technique is incredibly beneficial if you wanna move your game to the next level. However, out on the golf course, we wanna remove ourselves from the process and we wanna be a lot more focused on the outcome. So therefore we need to add a little bit more athleticism to our motion. Now, setting up to the golf ball, the very first move off the ball, which I see a lot of players think about, is something to do with their wrists, their hands, their turn. However, if we break down what a professional does, it's actually quite different. It's not about how the body moves, it's about what they do with their pressure. So creating an athletic motion, if you relate this to any other sport, there would be considerable shifting of pressure between your right foot and your left foot. And what we see when a professional sets up to a golf ball, before they make their backswing, they'll actually shift their pressure into their left foot to give themselves some momentum to then swing back into their right, free up their body, and allow for a much more flowing motion. 
So what does that look like and what does that feel? So if I set up next to this golf ball here and I simply just feel like before I take the golf club away, I'm pushing a little bit of pressure into the left foot and then shifting that pressure directly back to the right foot, well then I feel like I've got much more freedom to make a full complete turn to the top. If I simply just start by moving my hands or moving my arms, I find it very difficult to move my body how I know it should to create more of a repeatable motion. So when you're setting up to the golf ball and we're doing our little bit of a waggle, we're juggling our weight between our feet, we're getting that club head moving back and forth. What I would then suggest is as soon as the golf club then hits the ground, you do a little bit of a push forward and then go straight back into making your backswing. So that feeling of applying some pressure down into the ground into your left foot will then cause you to then push back into your right foot and then that little piece of movement there, that little motion, will then free up your hips, free up your torso and ensure that you're not too stiff and tense with your arms as you go back to actually swing in the golf club. So sometimes little tidbits like that can make a massive difference to your ability to create some more freedom to your motion and help declutter your brain of all the technical thoughts in which you may have been thinking of when you're working on improving the technical side of your golf swing. However, like I said, when you're on the golf course, we want to be much more focused on the outcome and what we want to achieve rather than the process of how you're doing it. So if you're finding that it's very challenging to take that golf club off the ball, implement some of this advice. I want you to juggle your weight between your feet. I want you to pull your arms back and forward towards your body. I want that club head to waggle back and forth a little bit. And then just before you take the golf club away, I want you to put a little bit more pressure down in your left foot before you swing back. And I'm sure it will make a world of difference for you being able to take that golf club away in more of a repeatable fashion. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you've got any questions, please ask me below like always. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray. Thanks for watching.